Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with mcfitmethod.com and this is your mcfit365 workout of the day. Now today's workout is a rep scheme workout. We're gonna do a series of reps of 16, 14, 12, and 10 of three different movements, but each round is gonna go ahead and start off with that jump rope. So we're either gonna do 50 double unders, 100 single jumps, or the option of doing 80 toe taps. So I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna grab my RX Smart here jump rope. And we, like I said, we have an option of doing some double unders in this workout, which is gonna be 50 of those. Now a double under is two rotations of the rope for every jump, keeping those feet together. Remember guys, we're rotating that rope just with our wrists here, bounding up and down. It's a bounding up and down motion. We're not really piking our feet forward and, or kicking our legs back. We're staying upright, chest up the entire time. Two rotations of that rope for a set of 50 double unders or you have the option of doing twice as many of your basic single unders, which is just one rotation of that rope for every jump. So if you choose not to do the double unders, you can just do 100 single unders. And then if you choose not to do the jump rope, there is an option of not using the jump rope. So we're gonna do a set of 80 toe taps. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a dumbbell here to start off these toe taps. Now with these toe taps, you're gonna set one dumbbell down here on the ground. And basically we're just alternating, tapping our toe onto the head of that dumbbell. But we're gonna do this in rapid succession. So really quick here, we're gonna engage that core, keeping that chest up. Really use, use your arms too to kind of generate a lot of speed here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, as fast as you possibly can, you're gonna do a set of 80 of these toe taps. Every time your toe touches the head of that dumbbell, that counts as one rep. So that's an option to the jump rope. Either do those 50 double unders, the 100 single jumps, or the option of doing 80 of those toe taps. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the first strength training movement in this workout. And like I said at the beginning here, we're doing reps of 16, 14, 12, and 10. So the first round through, we're gonna, be doing, we're gonna be doing 16 reps of everything. We're gonna do 16 reps starting with dumbbell uh, push-up deadlifts. So I'm gonna grab another dumbbell here. We're gonna need two dumbbells for every one of these movements. Now these are push-up deadlifts. So basically you're gonna set these dumbbells down on the ground here. We're gonna kick back into a push-up position. We're gonna do that push-up. We're gonna bring our feet back in and then we're gonna deadlift them up, opening up those hips at the top. So down into a push-up position. We're gonna do that push-up. Then we're gonna bring our feet in and then engaging that core, we're gonna stand up and do one deadlift. Now we're gonna send those hips back down, and then bend slightly at the knees, back into the push-up, push-up, bring those feet back in again, engage that core, stand all the way up. So we're doing a set of 16 push-up deadlifts, making sure you're opening up those hips all the way at the top, guys, really engaging your back. So we're setting that down. We're gonna do a set of 16 of those dumbbell push-up deadlifts. Once you've completed those, we're moving on to the next movement, which is dumbbell hang cleans. And we're gonna do a set of 16 of those. So really when you finish, if you can go ahead and do that, you can finish your 16 push-up deadlifts. On the 16th one, you're already set in this hang position to go ahead and begin the dumbbell hang cleans. So from this hang clean position, palms are facing inward. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly bend those knees and we're gonna send those hips back and we're gonna swing up and clean those dumbbells up into that front rack position. So we're gonna do a set of 16, two dumbbell hang cleans. Now you notice when I swing them back slightly, I'm keeping them close to my body the entire time. I'm not bringing them way out here like a kettlebell swing. What we're doing is we're sending those hips back, bending slightly at those knees, knees are tracking out over those toes, and then you're powering, you're opening up those hips, popping those hips open, that's generating some power, and then those kettlebells start to rise up, or the kettlebell, the dumbbells start to rise up. Once you get them in this position, then you start to do that pull, but keeping them close to your body the entire time, and you land in that front rack position. So we're gonna do a set of 16 of those hang cleans. Once again, if you're able to do those unbroken, you're gonna end up with those hang cleans right there in that front rack position on that 16th one. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into a set of 16 push press. So with these same dumbbells, clean them up in that front rack position. Now we're just doing push press. So what we're gonna do is we're going to send those hips back again slightly, bend those knees, and then press them up overhead, then back down. So we're just doing a set of 16 push press. So if you can actually do this, you start off the workout with that jump rope with the toe taps. If you choose a weight appropriately for you, what you can end up doing is doing all these sets unbroken. And that's kind of the goal here. What we want to do is be able to do 16 of those push-up deadlifts, go right on that 16th deadlift into then 16 of those hang cleans, right from those 16 hang cleans, right into 16 push press. 
Then what happens, that ends that round of 16 reps. So then you're gonna go back and you're gonna start all over again with that jump rope, the 50 double unders, the 100 single jumps, or the 80 toe taps. And then we're gonna go through those three dumbbell movements again, but this time we're only doing 14 reps of each. Go through all those again, 14 reps of each, then back up to the top of that jump rope, then we're doing another round, but only 12 reps, and then the final round, we're doing all those movements again, but only 10 reps. So you're gonna do 10 of those push press deadlifts, 10 of the dumbbell hand cleans, and then 10 of the dumbbell push press. Once you've completed that, that completes this entire workout. So that is the McFit 365 workout of the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Good luck, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for the next workout.